Welcome to Optical Communication Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain fiber splicing. And fiber splicing, that is a method to connect two fiber cable permanently. So when we connect two fiber cable permanently, these are the basic requirements. First basic requirement is splice should cause minimum power loss within optical fiber. Second basic requirement is they should be easy to install. So it should be easy to have splicing of two fiber. Third requirement is it should cause low attenuation because of that splicing. And fourth basic requirement is it should be strong mechanically and it should have very light weight. So these are the basic requirements that is there in fiber splicing. So basically fiber splicing it is a method to connect two fiber permanently and these are the basic requirements of splicing. When we talk about how many types of techniques are there in fiber splicing then basically there are two major splicing techniques. One is fusion slice splicing and second is mechanical splicing. I'll explain both techniques in detail. So let us try to understand first basic technique that is fusion splicing technique. Now one can clearly see the basic arrangement of fusion splicing technique where one can observe this is what V-shaped groove that we have. So V-shaped metal groove that is available over here. V-shaped groove means here there is etching of V-shape. So there will be etching of V-shape over here so that this fiber can be easily fixed over here and these these are two electrodes so these two electrodes that is been connected with electrical wiring and that will be providing heat so because of heat these two fiber will get joint over here so this is what the basic arrangement that we have in fusion splicing so first of all two ends of fiber are initially cleaned and polished then cables are placed on v-shaped groove in tooling fixture then we fix it on this tooling fixture using clamps and then electrodes are heating this two fiber joint and we can have connection of this two fiber. So this is what the basic process that we do it in fusion splicing. Now let us see what are the advantages and disadvantages of fusion splicing. So basically advantages are it gives low attenuation. It gives high quality of joint and third basic advantage is it has small splice, small size of splice. But the disadvantages are heat will make fiber weak and after splicing tensile strength of fiber will decrease. So these are the disadvantages which is there with fusion splicing. So in fusion splicing all we do is we place two fiber cable on v-shaped groove then we fix that and by using electrodes we provide heating so that this fiber will get joined and it gives low attenuation high quality of joint and small size of splice but disadvantages are fiber will get weak and tensile strength of that fiber will fiber will decrease so this is what about fusion splicing now let us move on to next point that is mechanical splicing now see in mechanical splicing the fiber are aligned and then they are locked in position using various positioning devices. So here we lock two fibers using positioning devices and to lock that fiber by using positioning devices we have six different mechanical splicing. One is precision tube splice, second is loose tube splice, third is v grow slice, fourth is elastometric splice. 5th is precision pin splice and 6th is spring groove splice. I'll explain all 6 mechanical splicing method in detail one by one. So let us see first that is precision tube splice. Now in this case we use precision tube splice. So see this is what precision tube splice. And 
we insert two fiber cable in this precision tube splice before that initially we clean this two fiber and we polish that two fiber then we insert this two fiber and then after splice has compound which is having same refractive index as of fiber so two fiber inserted into splice and outer jacket is creamed so all we do is we insert fibers like this from both of the ends and then all we do is after inserting inside of this two precision tube for life splice we just cream that jacket so that this fiber will get fixed inside and the refractive index of this precision tube fly splice that is same as the refractive index of fiber and this is how precision tube splice is working now next is loose tube splice now see in loose tube splice rectangular tube is there for splicing so one can see this is what rectangular tube for splicing adhesive material is added in tube to join to fiber so in this rectangular shape tube we add adhesive material after cleaning and polish polishing two fiber ends are inserted in splice and because of adhesive material two ends of fiber will get joined and adhesive material is having same refractive index as of fiber so this is what about loose tube splice where we have two fiber which we insert in this rectangular shaped loose tube splice and insert inside that we add adhesive material which will join this two fiber and adhesive material is having same refractive index as of fiber so that will join these two fibers now let us move on to next method that is v grow splice now see in v grow splice all we do is we even this method is referred as surface grow splice now why it is referred as surface grow grow splice the reason is we by using surface we connect two fibers now see how we do that we have metal each with v shaped grow so see here one can see etching is done in this metal plate etching is done in this metal plate and that etching that is having v shaped like this so that we can fix this fiber in this v shape so dimension of this grow is such that we can easily fix optical fiber in this v shape grow then we add adhesive mati adhesive epox epoxy material over here so that this two fiber will get joined and after joining this two fiber all we do is we align second plate over first plate so that we can join that two like see initially if i say this is v shape uh v shape v shape grow so here see this is how i place fibers and then what i do is i fold this mat one plate over other plate and i'll be able to join this two fiber so see this is what the basic process which we do here in v grow splice so adhesive material that we add and that will join that two fiber and by having aligned of second plate over first plate we can be able to provide proper mechanical fixing of this two fiber and next is elastometric splice now see it is another version of v grow splice but here we have two elastometric which is giving compression to two fiber aligned in v grow like see this is what elastometric v grow and in in that v grow we insert this two fiber and we have this outer sleeve so same thing that we do again we just provide compression to this two outer sleeve like this and that will fix this two fiber so this is what similar to v grow splice but here we use elastic material so this is even referred as elastometric splice in v grow splice we use metal 
here in elastomatrix flies we have elastomatric material but process of fixing to fiber together is same now next is precision pin splice now see in precision pin splice we have heat shrink tube so this is what heat shrink tube which we have and this tube that we have it to hold three steel pins so one can see these are three steel pins that is what holded by this heat shrink tube now in this three pin tube in this three steel pins there will be a gap in between these three pins so you can see see it will be like this there are three pins like this and in between this three pin there will be gap where we can fix fiber so this is what fiber and this three steel pins are there and to hold this three steel pins there is heat shrink tube so fiber tube is inserted in opening in between three pins and using index matching epoxy splicing is done over here so all we do is we insert fiber in between the gap of these three pins and by using index matching epoxy splicing is been done over here by using this precision pin splice and the last method that is spring grow splice now see in this spring grow splice we have two cylindrical pins so these two cylindrical pins are there and this will be providing alignment guide to optical fiber so optical fiber is placed over here in between these two cylindrical pins and spring is been used to provide pressing of this fiber in between these two cylindrical guide and epoxy resin is used to splicing of these two fiber so see one can see the structure two cylindrical pins are there like this and in between that we can provide this fiber in between that we can provide this fiber and by using spring we can press that in between these two cylindrical pin so that will provide mechanical alignment and then epoxy resin is used to splice this two fiber so two fibers that is getting joined by using epoxy resin in this method so this is all about mechanical splicing i hope that you have understood this session so here i have covered mechanical splicing as well as fusion splicing in detail i hope that you have understood this you can give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future i'll make videos which will solve all those queries which is required to be solved to make this channel large thank you so much for watching this video